Let's now work through an example of a spray gun calibration and we're going to use a granular fertilizer that will be added to the tank for this example. We're going to use a 2000 fertilizer in this example. That's a product that's 20% by weight nitrogen. Again, it's a dry or granular form. Our goal of application is a half pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. Using our spray gun, we've determined that we can apply a spray swath of eight foot, so eight foot wide spray pattern. And we've got a hundred gallon spray tank and a pump on the back of a truck. So we're going to go through this example using some other information that I'll provide. And remember that one of the, uh, the, the goals of spray gun calibration is to do the calibration on the basis of a thousand square foot area. That makes it uh, typically a little bit easier to work with. And so what we want to know is how long of a test course, a calibration course, will it have to be in order to apply uh, the water to a thousand square foot area. So since we want a thousand square feet, and we divide it by the spray swath width, which is eight feet, a thousand square feet divided by eight feet, that gives us a test course length of 125 feet. So that's what we would go out and measure off in terms of length. Then we would determine a speed. Remember your speed and your pressure have to be constant in order for a calibration to hold. And we have said that uh, in our training modules that a typical speed is usually about three miles per hour and three miles per hour equates pretty close to about 4.4 feet per second. And that's kind of a standard walking or driving speed. And why that matters here is we're going to take the 125 feet divided by 4.4 feet. We would get ourselves uh, in tune with being able to walk at that particular speed. And the bottom line is that if we take 125 divided by 4.4 feet per second, so it's 125 feet divided by 4.4 feet per second, we'll need uh, to have a, a uh, speed that's going to take us 28 seconds to walk that 125 foot length. And in reality, that's what we would practice until we're right on top of 28 seconds. It's actually 28.4 seconds. But once we could get our speed to that level consistently, that would be a very good walking speed. So what we would do is we would uh, get that speed down. We would then collect the discharge from the spray gun for 28 seconds. And that will be a rate of delivery that we're calibrated to deliver at that point in time. And for the purpose of our example, I've just randomly selected that we have collected 117 fluid ounces from a spray nozzle over that 28 second period. Now we want to determine what is the output that we're calibrated to deliver. So we now know that 117 fluid ounces has been collected. Let's first convert this to gallons. And there are 128 gallons, excuse me, 128 fluid ounces per gallon. Okay, so if we take 117 divided by 128, that's approximately 0.91 gallons. And now we're going to use this in a proportion to determine what our output of our sprayer is. If we take 0.91 gallons is to 1,000 square feet, okay, that's what we are currently delivering. Let's proportion this out as to how many gallons, the unknown being x, x gallons is to an acre, 43,560 square feet. And this is going to tell us how many, uh, ultimately, how many acres will we be able to spray with a full tank. So in a proportion, we cross multiply, divide, and solve for x. So we end up with 0 0.91 times 43,560. And we proportion this out to 1,000 times x. Okay, and I'll move back over here and we'll finish out the rest of this work. This answer is 39,817 equals 1,000 times x. Divide both sides by 1,000. And our answer is approximately 39.8 gallons per acre. Remember, that's what we were striving for back over here, x gallons per 43,560 square feet. So uh, roughly about 40 gallons per acre 
is what we can, um, that's what we're calibrated to deliver. And I'm going to round this number off to 40 gallons per acre just to keep the math as simple as I can. If we've got a 100 gallon tank and we're calibrated to deliver right at 40 gallons per acre, 100 divided by 40 equals 2.5 acres. So a full spray tank, keeping our pressure constant and our speed at 3 miles per hour, we can cover 2.5 acres. Now, how much fertilizer will we have to add to that tank if we keep everything about our calibration constant? Of uh, How much fertilizer will we add in order to apply a half pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet? All right, let's first determine how much fertilizer we need to give us a half pound of nitrogen. 0 0.5 pounds of N divided by its fertilizer analysis, which is 20%. So divided by 0 0.20 equals, we need 2.5 pounds of 20, 0, 0 per thousand square feet. Okay, 2.5 pounds of 20, 0, 0 gives us the desired half pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. That we That's what we desire. So there is 2.5 pounds of 20, 0, 0 is to 1,000 square feet. Okay, let's look at what we have available to us to work on another proportion. Okay, 2.5 acres is how much area I can cover. If I take 2.5 times 43,560, that's 108,900 square feet. And now, I've got appropriate units with which to set up a proportion. So I have 2.5 pounds of 20 OO per thousand square feet. And let's proportion that out to unknown X pounds of 20 OO is to a full sprayer tank. What can be covered? 108,900 square feet. We'll cross multiply, divide, and solve for x. If I take 108,900 times 2.5, as x is to 1,000, this then becomes 272,250. equals x times a thousand divide both sides by a thousand and we roughly need about 272.3 pounds of 20 zero zero we would add that amount of material to the spray tank uh, we have some water in it to start with we get that to dissolve and melt bring the final spray tank volume up to 100 gallons per acre. And once again, as long as our pump pressure and our speed remain constant, we will be delivering a half pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet using a 2000 source.